So parts are the basic pieces of geometry to build sometimes larger pieces of geometry using many parts. And you just click on the parts drop down and you have basic shapes. We're gonna do a block. And it's really far away, so we're gonna have to move up close to it. And you can see it's got basic materials, which is like, what's the texture around it? We've got colors for it, so you can change those as well. So we'll make it like a green grass, for example. And these parts, you can select them, and they exist in your Explorer. So everything in your base plate that you create with parts will go over to the Explorer under your workspace, and vice versa. If you can't find it, just click it and hit F if you have a really big world, and your camera will zoom on that particular piece of geometry. And the cool thing about them is that by default, they have some reasonable defaults. So let me click the Model tab up here and show you what I mean. This part has a movement of one stud. What that means is, is when I move it, you see how it kind of like snaps? It's not really smooth, but if I turn off move, then it moves a lot more smooth. And that's because it's going kind of to the pixel where X and Y is a lot more smooth. Whereas move studs is a metric of measurement that Roblox uses, very similar to like inches in America or meters everywhere else in the world. And so studs uh, help you align things. If you're creating multiple parts, for example, you can kind of align them and see that white snapping. So the blue lets you know it's selected. And then when you drag it, it shows what it's being kind of joined to. So this, this joined services means that when you put it there and it's joined, it'll stay. Think of like welding or taping something together. By default, these pieces of geometry you can interact with. So if we go to test and say play here, so we'll play next to it instead of saying play at the spawn point. If we say play here, it'll drop us where the camera is we can actually interact with all the parts that we just dropped. So you can see the parts there, I, my character runs up on top of it. So that's the basics of creating parts, messing with the materials and colors in Roblox Studio.